Hey, just driving home from work and I had a few thoughts I wanted to run by. Just some things I'm excited about that I'm working on with React Table. Um, React Table is a little library I, well it's not little, it's a pretty awesome library I built for um, making tables in React. And uh, it does everything except for render a UI for you and that's the great, the great part about it is that you can uh, build your UI and your styles however you want and uh, React Table takes care of the rest of it for you. So the one thing that I'm uh, working on right now that nobody really knows about is pivot table functionality. So I guess everybody knows now. Um, I've actually been working on it for a while and it's awesome because the pivot table functionality is just a plugin like everything else. Um, and I am going through like building this pivot table plugin and I started learning um, why pivot tables are so difficult and I'm still learning about them and how they work and really what makes them tick but the one thing that I have learned today is that I think a lot of people get stuck building pivot tables because it's kind of a two-stage process um, when people talk about a pivot table they're talking about um, two things usually. One of them is just grouping, like being able to aggregate and group rows uh, into the table. Um, and you can do that without pivot table functionality, real pivoting um, at all. You can just group together rows and they'll aggregate going up. Um, and that's powerful on its own. But when people say pivot table, what they're referring to is usually taking the unique values of a column say uh, let's let's do uh, what's a good one to do you could do like relationship status is one you might have three status types it's like single in a relationship or complicated I've used that example a lot in some of my uh, table examples if you were to pivot that column up, it would take those three unique uh, values that exist in that column, the, you know, the single, the inner relationship, and it's complicated, and it would make column groups out of those three values. So at the, at the top of your table, you would now see three new column groups that say, you know, single, complicated, and inner relationship, and then underneath those column groups, you'd have all of your regular columns, except for status. And it would show you um, kind of the subsets of those columns within each relationship type. And you see this a lot with uh, like sales data or you know e-commerce data where they will pivot up like a month. They'll pivot up the month of the year or they'll pivot up product types. Um, so it's kind of like instead of row grouping it's like column grouping basically but it's generated and the reason i think that's hard is because you have to do everything twice you have to build your column definitions once that are going to seed the column to begin or to seed the table to begin with you have to access and materialize the entire data structure for those columns in the table and then you have to do it all again. You have to go and find the unique values that you just materialized and allow the table to create more columns after the fact um, and, you know, put those into the table and make it work. So it's like a two-stage process, and I think that's what makes it really hard, to be honest. I'm working on a system right now that lets you do that. It's called column materialization, and it's just a it's an open API, so there's nothing super special about it um, other than it just lets you hook in uh, to when columns are being uh, used to access data. And I actually, today, I inverted the entire... Um, I inverted the way that React Table materializes all of its data. Before, it would scan through rows, and it would recursively go through nested rows. And today, I moved it over to go by column now. Um, which is a little difficult to make sure that I'm not doing any extra iteration than I would need to. Uh, but now it actually will build the uh, data model column by column instead of row by row. 
and that allows me to add extra columns on after the fact and not incur uh, a bunch of extra, you know, processing time to loop through all the rows again unnecessarily. So I'm really excited about it. Um, pivot tables are powerful and I really want to bring that power to React Table. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, kind of get the first version of Pivot Tables out. I think um, I think Pivot Tables are going to be a beta plugin feature in React Table. I'd really just like to get React Table version seven launched uh, by the end of the year, and Christmas is in just a few days. So I think I'm going to plan on doing that. But yeah, get excited! Pivot Tables are coming, and they're going to be really easy to use. Uh, and really when you want to offer some powerful features to your users, pivot tables are one of like pivot columns are, are very, very powerful. So let me know what you think. Um, if you have any input on how you'd like to use pivot tables or, or any more questions about what they are, feel free to comment or chat at me on Twitter or uh yeah you can come check out the uh the github code here i'll be pushing it in probably just a few hours and yeah follow me here and twitter and we'll we'll see you next time